Uh, August 1996, Auto Sound and Security. Found a Bookman's for 50 cents, but that was many years ago. Now these are collector's items. Let's see what we got. Zapco preamp, what? Let's see, we saw that yesterday. There we go, that's the ones I like. Oh yes, so much America, all in one. They even had the matching subs, cool. USA 15, USA 364. Back then when it was America, now it's Chineseium. Philips Sound Labs, we saw that already. Lots of crankers, cranking, cranking power. Cranking. I don't really like the, the blend of hillbilly with uh, technical stuff. Just saying. Uh, we went to a place called Frontier Pies one time and we could not find the drink menu. We were like looking at the menu and we we're like, where is the drinks? They were labeled belly washers. Yeah. Belly washer. Washer. Subsonic motherfucker. Witness the sack clown. High inductance motor. Between a Rockford and a hard place. Aw. Is that... Is that that feedback? Oh. Oh, is this a review? What is this? No, it's an ad. What is that from? Oh, that's from the Rockford. Oh, I see. Looks little. Da, da, da. Blah, blah, blah. Da, da, da. Blah, blah, blah. A lot of filler in this episode. Attitude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it? Lineate lands are precision power, ultimate sound. Do, 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 do. See? All pretty much the same. <clears throat> no, man. Uh, PPI art series are the best. It's like, well, I guess so. USD with their own. It looks like a truck enclosure. That's what it says. Pick up a box. Pick up box. Pick up box. Extra cab trucks. Factory vinyl. Ba, ba, ba. There's the thing that everybody loves. The power block. Come on, Rockford, bring this shit back. Nobody wants your new shit. There it is, the Chicklets. Chicklets 5000. Head of the class. <laughs> it's a monster. It's just big. That's all. And then that's the phase one, I think, from Rockford. Is it repackaged? What is this shit? Uh, da, 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 da. Monster the first version of the Oh, is that all monster? What is that? So let's see. Oh, that's Monster Cable's version of the same Rockford stupid thing. Anyways. Ugh. Just because you make it doesn't mean people will buy it. I mean, eventually that's true, but still. I had one of these in the other day. Um, it was called the 400X. Uh, it, was, it was great because on the circuit board... The items that were supposed to be the X part, the crossover and the EQ were like not soldered on. I was like, they were just missing. I was like, okay, so this is just a straight amplifier. No, it, the only thing it had was a gain knob. That was it. And then it had really shitty terminals at the end. So, but that's what you guys want. Go for it. All image. Who is this? LA image. Mm, sounds like a rebrand from LA sound. If you ask me, it says it's for serious car audio enthusiasts. Pioneer. Nobody cares. Because you're in Walmart. Don't be in Walmart. This I thought was interesting. So um, they were the first. Uh, this is, uh, of course, Metra when they were selling direct. But they were. it was the first UL listed cable uh, that was in car audio. Not that that means anything, but when I worked at SpeedFam, I um, the wire that they were using was very, very difficult to work with. And I was making or recreating the uh, electrical ca uh, cabinets for um, the tool. And uh, I was like, if you guys need UL wire, just give it this because it was higher stranded. Otherwise, you can't find this higher strand in, in typical 
um, electrical uh, warehousing distribu distributors and things like that. So, but that's why I wanted it. But, but it it failed miserably, and and paying for the UL uh, licensing is expensive. So that's why it doesn't really work. Look at all those caps made by Larry, made by Lightning Audio. God, I just forgot his name. I think his name was Juan, but he was the one that did the cocaine. So he'd go into the bathroom, sniff a little cocaine, and then come out, and he was like, oh, I'm ready, I'm energized. And I was like, oh. Hyper throw. I don't know if you can go hyper throw with that surround, but the subwoofers your mother warned you. My mom did not warn me about any subwoofers. She warned me about little skanky tramps that would get their hooks in me. I don't know what that meant. I'm like, skanky tramps have hooks in their vagina? Hmm, I'll have to find out. Thanks, Mom. Uh, again, I don't care about security. Dynaudio. Again, Dynaudio. Come on, put at least the speaker in there, not a stupid dog. Okay, so look at this fucking mess. Let's see. So we got uh, woofers up here. Woofers here. Woofers here. Well, what is going on? This is, uh, let's see. Are these? Oh, I see. The enclosure goes this far. So this is just a sealed pair. And then this is a ported pair. Or do these go inside there? I don't know. I don't know. What's going on? Uh, yeah. Again, it's just marketing. You know, it's, it's yeah, again, this is the baby punching. Again, they didn't even badge the back of it. Who was this by? Beals. Yeah, nobody. That's just some dude in his garage. That's that's what Beals is. Unless you're Travis Beal, then you're jumping motorcycles, selling weed and making woofers for me. Uh, well, he doesn't sell weed anymore. He's he's now he's now a chef. Uh, there's the Lightning Audio. So we had a bunch of these that were signed by Alma Gates. Not that that means anything, but uh, Lightning Audio was doing the same thing, which is they just get a. I think these were gel batteries, something. It's just a regular flooded thing, and sometimes you can put gel gel or some sort of uh, glycerin in there to make it thick thick and creamy like peter north shooting ropes audio control again basic 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 i think they're probably still selling these uh pure awesome precision power i don't know why somebody else doesn't come out with this i mean as long as you make this distance pretty wide it's actually a cool looking design so maybe maybe the cones are just expensive all right, DEI put this upside down so that you would have to turn the magazine around. Mm, nobody cares about security. There's JR speaker again. Again, don't don't do this. Do this. Talk about your brand. The brand is not you. You are the brand, but the brand is not you. Does that make sense? There we go. Signal processor. OEQ2 with uh, frequency warp. It's just parametric to the nth degree. It's You don't really need it, is what I'm saying. Uh, unless you have really bad problem spots. And if you have really bad problem spots, what the fuck are you doing? So, uh, Lots of EQ. Earthquake. See, everybody makes it. It's all auto tech. It's all the same shit. There it is. Hey, look at that. Oh, God. I'm like a fucking wizard predicting the future. There's the gooseneck. Cool guy. Cool guy. Could have at least used a chick MTX. Cool guy. Hard and clean. Loud. The old one, you know what I really miss is the uh, ads with the RFL crankers and the square magnets. If you guys have that ad, post that up. That's fucking cool because you don't see that anymore. And a, a reason you're like, well, why did they use square magnets? It's because that's what was available in China. That's it. They probably got a really good deal on them. That's all. Is it, is it, they, they were probably like used in TVs or some shit, you know? And then they're like, how many of these you got? We got 12 pallets. All right, we'll make a woofer out of that. And that's, that's how shit gets made or how it used to get made. Sometimes it gets made like a little guy like me. That's what I do. I go, mm, what do we got? Okay. This is trash. Turn it into treasure. All right. So USD, all they did was, um, they go inside to the uh, power supply and then they, uh, create the, I think these are plus and 30, uh, plus and minus 30 volts. 
So that you just get a power supply that turns a little switcher power supply that turns uh, 12 volts into plus and minus 30. That's it. That's that's all you do. So you don't want to use like an outboard inverter and shit like that. So you can run AC to these. You don't want to do that. You want to modify the power supply. And you can do that with any fucking home audio shit, really. Uh, as long as you can create a power supply that steps up 12 volts to uh, whatever the rail voltage is that you need. So, But typically for EQs and, and small, low power stuff like this, it's plus and minus 30. Um, on lower things like this, it's plus and minus 15, typically. So that's what phantom power is. So just so you know, I like that one. That one's cool. Baby chicklets, only two chicklets. There we go. Oh, goodness. Oh. With the scratched metal surface? Oh, I love that. Oh, look at this picture. Oh, soak that up. I had a bunch of those from the uh, brand new in the box, too. A bunch of the stuff from the auction sold off. Man, we've already seen you crossfire. What, is, wait, what does it say? It says acceptable but overpriced. Uh, I still thought it was kind of overpriced. I mean, relative to like Orion, yeah, it's it's a fucking steel deal. Primary meaning of bass. Bass, bass, tubes. Any questions? Well, it's it's a play on words because they have a picture of a bass and then they it's bass and it's bass. spelled the same, just like wind and wind. So wind or wind. So this reminds me of uh, Mar Malibu Barbie. Let's see this stuff. Who they got in there? This is a 1984 uh, Corvette. It's got Kenwood Phoenix Gold Zapco, Image Dynamics, MB Court, Street Wires. Well, it's just all over the place. What they have. Do, do, do. Or, ooh, or. It's an or system. Or, 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 or. Ooh, look at this linear power. Oh, this is kind of cool. What are they doing here? I guess you can custom mount these anywhere. It says it's a unique mounting style. Makes linear powers P-A-I-I-R. That's a stupid name. Uh, one of the most unique signal processors in the lineup. Well, you just use cables. It's not that hard. Um, da -da 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 -da. Each knob is connected to the main unit by a flex. Oh, yeah. So this is basically the Quipix um, version of I can't fit an EQ in my dash. So then you can put these anywhere. So, And then Image Dynamics did the same thing, but with a different screen print on the front, different color. I don't know if that's white. It might be silver. So again, same thing as the USD ones you saw previously. Baron's Beamer. Hi, Baron. Hi. Looks like his dad owns the company somewhere. It's like, uh, oh, I won't say his name. What is this? What is this? Uh, Dyn Audio, Steve Baggio, Phoenix Gold, Digital Reference, Sirius, Sirius Audio. Huh. It's a lo long time before Sirius XM. Oh, he's got a VU meter, or is that a volt meter? Oh, oh. Voltmeter. No. Phoenix Gold. Oh, I remember those. Those were the shit back then. Now you're like, mm, this is a lot of stuff to get dirty and crackly. There we go. Sapco amps. Dynaudio Mobile Fidelity. Dynaudio. Dynaudio. All Zapco. Phoenix Gold. Sirius Audio Switcher Controller. And a separate DA converter. Mm hmm. Because that makes all the difference. Not the mobile electronic show. They wow, they used to have it all divided. Now it's just like a, a, a section of the the giant convention center. And you go, oh, this is the car audio thing. And then if you like you're poor, they'll put you somewhere in another building or like upstairs or downstairs or something shit like that. And if you're really the uh, really small, what you do is you just get a suite at the oh, I forgot which hotel it is. Well, they're actually in all hotels. You just get a suite and then you rent it. And that way you can crash there too. After you're done whoring it up and getting drunk. All that. There's my woofer. Oh, there's my woofer. 
That looks like the 10, though. Uh, uh, Orion had these uh, <clears throat> teardrop band pass as well. And there's the Quipix. What is that? Clear Plexi Top EQ Earthquake. What else we got? Had a cute girl. There's the LA sound. Get out of the way. Woman, I want to look at my amplifiers. Like those. Show cars. Who is that? The J and the L. I think that's it. No, nope. we got a couple more black and white pages. Oh, look at that. It's a base refrigerator. Quipix, Quipix, Quipix. Am I saying that? Quipix? Qu is it, or is it Quipi? A giant avatar. Is that what it's called? Av Avatar. Sorry. That's a very unique remote <clears throat> design. I'm sure they had a trademark on it or a patent or something like that. Nobody messes with it. Well, actually, that's not true. Because if you really want somebody's whole system, you just get a tow truck and then you tow it away. That's it. Crystal clear. There we go. Look at that. Of course, they choose PPI because they only want the best. Plus, they kind of, you know, this is like that. Uh, what's it? It reminds me of that. What is that cup brand? That Walmart cup brand. But anyways. Uh, let's see, PPI, 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 Clarion, oh, should have used, a, like, we used to use a Walkman tape deck. Uh, that was always the best, straight into the amplifier. I'll tell you what, though, the head unit never stayed on. Why are the logos upside down? Oh, I see, it's a trunk, it's a hatchback. There we go. A uh, lot of these, got a lot of guys like those. Small, you know, not as big as the bigger one. These were always a waste too. They made the, uh, back then they made uh, 16 inch, 13 inch, all that kind of stuff. Cause they're like, it's bigger and it's better. And it's, it locks you into that fucking size is the problem. So Eric Clapton Crossroads 2, I guess it's a duets thing that he did with somebody else. That looks like Archer. What is this? License to base. Big jugs, badass dude. And then all the toxic booze, innovative booze. This is all some guy at home on his $5,000 computer rig, which was like a two, giga drive, two gigabyte hard drive. Blown away, Parts Express. Come on, Parts Express, put some cool shit in there, not this guy. Get your shit together. Look at that, an MB Court screwdriver from Snap-on, no less. Scott! Scott, buddy, at uh, Jizzhog, you got to get me a, one of these screwdrivers, man. This is fucking shit. This is awesome. I'll go ahead and put Scott's phone number in there so you can call Scott and ask him if he can get this. So, uh, Scott, formerly at Jizzhog. So, and then that's it. I'm going to have breakfast. I love you guys. Bye.